it is one of the most memorable <laughs> items that we did. So for those of you listening that are not UK, look, this show, the Gadget Show, been going on about is a show a bit like Top Gear for Gadgets. It was very popular in Britain, and I was very fortunate to be one of the hosts for 12 years. And one of the things that we used to do is what we call builds, which back then, uh, I'm talking, I mean, I left three years ago, but this is, we started doing these builds at the beginning. So 15 years ago, you didn't have the content you have on YouTube now where people show you how to make a hoverboard out of a you know leaf blower or whatever. Yeah. You didn't have that. And so yeah. it was really unusual what we were doing. And we would do these large scale builds, which as the show became popular and the budget increased, became more and more exotic. And perhaps the most exotic one was the Battlefield simulator. So not only did we get a unique build of Battlefield from the developers, um, uh, we also got this thing called an igloo, which is a huge surround screen, a massive, about, I don't know how wide, but what, a really big wide um, surround screen, uh, which was, would be, uh, you know, would be much better done now in VR, but mm -hmm. then was a surround screen, which was very visual over television, obviously. And with this unique build, I think what we did was we got some software um, developed that uh, that got cues from the audio of the game as the soldiers were coming towards you shooting and set off paintball guns that were that were positioned Jesus around Christ. this 360 degree space but wait zoom it gets better dude it gets better we had the world's <laughs> biggest omnidirectional treadmill in the center holy cow and I've it was it, it was it was yeah it was really wow. big and very effective. It was you know, like a lot of these omnidirectional tribunals where we talked earlier about the need to get this right. It wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad. And your movement did trigger the movement of your virtual character through space. And then to top it all off, we got we got an, not just a member of the SAS, the Special Air Service, or uh, the, the, you know the, the Special Forces yeah. of the UK. It was Andy McNabb who is like the poster boy the poster for the boy. SAS. And so I was there having coffee with this absolute legend that had been captured in Iraq and all the rest of it. And then we put him into this game. I went in and that was great. And I just looked like a, you know, a kind of bit of a numpty gamer. <laughs> and he went in and had the whole, you know, he had the whole thing going on. And it was amazing. Mm. It was incredible. Um, and what's interesting is that it was kind of before YouTube, I think. Mm, yeah. Certainly YouTube would have been in its infancy, if not, uh, it might not have even existed. So it's actually, the, the YouTube response to that item has come later than the show. Yeah. So that's, nice. Yeah. So I'm glad that, the, that uh, the chap asked me that question. Thanks for asking me. Yeah. It, was a, it, was a, it was a very sort of VR related experience. <laughs> what was, was the question how it compared, Rowdy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. to VR. Okay. It was, so forgive me, I'm very good at not answering the, the exam question. <laughs> um, I would say it was, yeah, the combination, the combination of some of those physical elements, the paintballs especially, yeah. the omnidirectional <laughs> treadmill and VR would be spectacular. Yeah. But the, what, the thing that Igloo does really well is it's a really high fidelity immersive environment. So, and, and the light and the flashes, happen behind you and you sense them in a very real sense and it's a big spectator uh, experience mm, yeah, so people mm. can people can walk into the space and they can experience it with you and see it so it, it's kind of but you know the, the, there's pluses and minuses yeah, uh, but yeah. I, but yeah but I, put it this way ever since then i've been wanting that omnidirectional treadmill in my garage not that it would fit in here but 